please. I'm going to start by pulling three oracle cards. One will keep flipped, flipped over, and the other two we will check in with throughout the reading. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all my new Patreon members. That is where the extendeds are. I really appreciate you, okay? Let's get right into this and see what's going on. So the first card we have, come on. Okay. it's definitely coming out here. So we have religious factors. I mean, this talks about your love life being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That does not have to be a bad thing, by the way. In fact, as soon as I said um, influenced, I just got this vibe that maybe you're changing. Your spiritual path is changing or the way you're looking at things are changing. And maybe now you want more. Maybe now you know more. Something like that, right? So let's see what's going on here. First card out. Oh, wow. We have the four of wands, the four of spirals in this deck. I love this deck. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> it's really interesting. Some of you will have saw me talk about this um, on other videos. But yeah, this is the four of spirals. Now, I'm going to tell you at the bottom of the deck, I am seeing the death card. There could be a situation that's ended. This can be with someone who you have a very strong bond with. Um, I mean, so far, it's not too much to work with, but this is, you know, our four of wands, twin flame, 11, soulmate, soul spirit, connection type energy here. But I got to say, like, I'm hearing the house is not a home. So maybe you've come to some realization that, you know, religion doesn't really matter when the house is not a home. Okay, something was over, maybe. Let's see what else we get here before... We get two into it. Let's see. We have so the Celtic owl, the hanged man. Um, there may have been a very strong pause in coming to this realization, or like it may have taken a long time for you to realize you're just sticking around, possibly because of religious factors. Now, remember, you can apply this to your person if you feel it's more their situation. Very possible. Um, Maybe your beliefs, you know, you were sticking around because of your beliefs, possibly kind of accepting things that you didn't want, you know, and not going for what you truly did. That is the four of cups there. I'm seeing the eight of cups here. Um, you know, I mean, that's that saying that, that you were hung in a situation um, with like an empty home type of empty nest type of energy. Some of you, maybe you had kids that grew up now and you're like, I don't want to be here anymore. You know, cause I said that empty nest. So that reminds me of, you know, parents getting older, the kids leaving. And now it's just the two of them in the empty home, um, really feeling the truth, right. That why they hung on for so long. Oh, well, there's nothing even there anymore. It's interesting. Um, so you chose to to stay somewhere. I do feel like there was happiness. Some of you, you did have children or something. I do feel like there was some happiness, but it wasn't exactly what you wanted. This really could have been kind of a one-sided relationship. Anyhow, six of cups energy here. Um, what I'm getting is either someone was waiting for you or someone in this situation knew all along that they were just waiting to leave. Okay, so, so that's interesting. I'm really getting this energy of someone who felt alone, even if they uh, were in a home or married, right? And look at the six of wands is coming in reverse. This is about a fake success. This is about hiding your dirty laundry, someone hiding their dirty laundry, acting like everything's okay, but... Deep inside, they knew it. Both people knew it. I think both people in this situation were kind of over it. So what's going on here? Now? Except, you know, I'm getting like they want someone wanted to be the hero or seem like everything's okay. So what's going on right now? I feel like there may be an opportunity coming in. Uh, what's this opportunity about? Let's see. Yeah, we have an opportunity to move in a new direction. This is the Ace of Wands energy. Some of you... Um, I mean, I'm doing Pisces reading. Some of you could be cross-watching and be, I'm getting Taurus, but this is not Taurus. This is Aries energy, but I'm getting Taurus. 
a Taurus may be coming in towards you. Um, I mean, that's really interesting, okay? But there's an opportunity to move in a new direction. Let's see what, look at this, the Eight of Wands. To go somewhere where you want to be. If you're dealing with a Taurus energy, because that's what I picked up with this, I feel like this person wants to be free. This person may want to go in a new direction, may want to go somewhere where there's love. Where does this person want to go? Tell us about that. Oh, shush. We have the lovers. So clearly someone here really wants to go to a love situation, but they have to get the strength to get moving. Uh, so tell us about this love situation, because this is what we're here for, right? When is love coming in is the question. Um, so it probably you were in a third party. So is this love coming together is the question, the devil. Yeah, there was some sneaky business going on. Um, or there was like some deception, right? There was a third party, okay? Plain and simple. Someone was wearing a mask, possibly showing like it wasn't that important. Important. Someone's name may be Bella whenever I see this or Rose or Rosa. Um, I think someone knew all along that one day they were going to be leaving. I think someone was waiting, hanging on to a situation, but I feel like somebody here wants to go to their true love, but it was a bit of a secret. They were giving up happiness, waiting for something to time to pass. I, I would like to know what that's about. The seven of mirrors, seven of cups, waiting for an opportunity. And now I think that opportunity has come, right? So what's going to happen in this love connection? Let's see what's happening here. We have the Empress. And this is about a new beginning. This is about something great happening here. Um, what I'm getting more is like, it's like a treasure chest opening. They're like, you know, it's all a new opportunity energy. Let's look at some, and we have the King of Spirals now. So this King of Wands energy here, um, it's just, it's interesting to me because I do feel that someone is ready to take action towards where they want to go. Okay, let's see what else we have showing up. So the first card is reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out best. I do feel like you and this person have had some space, right? With the energy of the hangman and that empty home energy. You were staying in a home that didn't feel right. Um, stuck there. Look at meditation brings answers. So I'm not satisfied with that answer. I'm going to get one more card from this deck. When? We want to know more about the when. Take action. So it's time to take the action now. But some of you are going back and forth in your head. Look at no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. What do I do? What are these cards sticking out? Communicate clearly. Remain positive, And don't rush. Okay, so what will happen with this situation overall? Because I do see this king or this, this energy here of someone wanting to take action. And it's almost like he's pointing to the empress. Like, I want to be there. Whoa. Okay, so look at, look at, oh my gosh. Okay, my deck is in reverse now. Okay, but that's okay because we're meant to get this message. And at the bottom is the world. So what is going to happen now? There is going to be a rebirth. There is going to be um, an opportunity for the Phoenix rising. Not joking, right? For this new beginning, but um, after an old cycle completes. There's something here with that. That is amazing, actually. So I'm going to move this in to the extended. I mean, I expect this to get quite juicy there, but it was a little bit of a slow start. So I hope you got some information. Um Especially with the reflection. I think you've had some time to think about what you want in this situation. So that's really awesome. And I mean, I feel like you might be leaving um, a marriage, right? Because you're in, you were being influenced by your religious upbringing or your spiritual path. And I mean, maybe you're changing one belief to another. Like, yes, I believed in marriage at one point, but now it's over. Or now it's served its purpose. And now my beliefs tell me to move forward follow my heart or have a new beginning elsewhere. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me Pisces. And I hope to see you in the extended. If not, and we're parting ways here. Thank you again. Bye for now.
Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting right into it because look at the, oh my gosh, look at the cards. So that's the lovers. That really is what it's about. Okay. Bye guys.